talked to the protesters. They're saying the school hasn't given them a hard deadline, but Tufts says it wants those encampments taken down in the next few days. The pro-Palestinian encampment at Tufts still up, even though the university wants it taken down. We'll continue our encampment until um, we're shut down or until our demands are met. Encampments also still in place at Harvard and MIT. At Northeastern over the weekend, police arrested protesters. That school saying anti-Semitic slurs were being used. Last week at Emerson, police broke up the encampment. At least one Tufts organizer says she was there. You were arrested at Emerson? Yeah, I was. Protesters say they want a ceasefire and for the school to pull any financial ties to Israel. Tufts says in recent days, demonstrators entered a classroom, blocked paths and defaced, stickered and scrawled obscene language on buildings. The school says the encampment must end, ideally peacefully and voluntarily, so we can prepare the campus for commencement. They didn't have a graduation their senior year of high school. And so, like, obviously I respect everybody's decision to protest peacefully. But, I mean, it gets to a point where it's like, the seniors deserve a celebration. The senior has close ties in Israel. I'm like one degree separated by tons of people who are currently held hostage, which is really sad. She says she respects the right to protest, but wants to graduate without any disruptions. When it comes to my graduation coming, I hope that it's not much of a distraction. Now, graduation here at Tufts is set for three weeks away. And by the way, MIT responded to our request for comment, essentially saying it wants those encampments on its campus gone soon as well.